A lot of people are using AI tools every single day, but what about running them locally, for example for control or privacy? You might think that this is difficult, but by the end of this video I will show you how to use Olama and set up it on your machine in just a few steps. So here is an official website olama.com and this is exactly a service which will help us to run all these models on our local machine. But you must remember it is quite expensive on resources to run AI tools, so your machine must be really powerful. Sure you can run simpler models, but some of your requests might take longer time and having a high-end machine is typically much better if you want to run something locally. Nevertheless, it is completely possible and you should for sure try it out. So step number one is to install Olama on our machine. We can simply click here download and install the needed version. I am on macOS, so I can just download an installation file and copy it to applications. On Linux you can use this command in console in order to install it on your machine. And on Windows again you are downloading installer. After you downloaded it and started, you will see a screen like this. You can write here message, you can select a model, but we don't want to use it like this. We can get more control by using CLI commands, because now we can write Olama, and when we're hitting enter, we're getting all available commands. Which basically means when you install this application, you are getting it as a CLI tool. And here I opened the GitHub for Olama and we can scroll a little bit and we see a model library. You can also access it on the official website. The main point is that you can install different models and they have different size. The size can be as small as for example 4 gigabytes or 1 gigabyte and as big as for example 400 gigabytes. And you can see the main difference is the amount of parameters that we have inside the model. For example, in some bigger model, we are getting like 600 billion parameters, and on something simpler, just 1 billion. But it is not just 1 billion, it is still quite a lot. And I would say for some simple uses, this is completely enough. So now it is time to install the model inside the Llama. And what I want to install here is something small, I will install Llama 3.2. So I'm jumping to the console and I can write Olama, run, and then Llama 3.2. I'm hitting here enter and it will download on my machine this model. And it will take some time because it needs to download one gigabyte of data. But as you can see for me it was not the case because this model is already installed on my machine. This is why this command brings me directly in using this model in the console. So here I can type some message like for example hi. And as you can see it took around 10 seconds to get an answer. So we are getting how can I assist you today. Now I want to close this model, I can just click Ctrl D or type slash buy. And I want to show you how to check what models you have installed on your machine. For this we can write Olama list. And as you can see I have just a single model, Llama 3.2 and the size is 2 gigabytes. And basically you can install different models just by Olama run and the name of the model and then it will download it or if you already download it, start. So this is the way how you can switch between models locally. Now let's hit again to start it and type some message like for example what is the most popular framework in JavaScript client. And here we directly are getting an answer. The most popular JavaScript framework is React, developed by Facebook, then Angular, then Vue. And we can get quite a lot of information locally without even accessing something like ChatGPT. Now this is all great, but just using it from the console doesn't sound fun. Would be nice to implement some projects and use this as a local server. We can certainly do that. For this we can just type Olama serve. But when I'm hitting enter, as you can see that address already is in use. This happens because Olama, when we started an application, already serves this project on this port. So we can use this port in order to make some requests to Olama API. And here I want to show you how inside Node application we can use this API, just to make some requests to it. 
And as you can see here, I didn't install any additional libraries for a llama, I just installed NodeFetch, so we're fetching this URL. And this URL you already saw inside the console, this is our local URL. So we're using slash version 1 slash completions, and this is a post method, and inside body we must write what model we want to use, and our prompt that we want to provide, and for example maximum tokens that we want to use. This is basically the simplest express server in Node.js. So let's start it now, node main.js. Now here let's do a post request on localhost 3000 slash prompt, and inside we are passing an object with field prompt, and this is exactly what we are providing here inside our body. So I typed here exactly the same code, what is the most popular frontend framework, and I'm hitting send. As you can see, it took 9 seconds to make this API call, and this is our response. So we are getting some information about our model, and also choices, and inside we are getting exactly the same text that we got in the console. So the most popular framework is React, then Angular, and then Vue. So this is how we can easily build an API by using Olama. But we can do it even better, because here we used just fetch, without any sugar, but we can also simplify it by using an Olama library. So first of all let's install a library, npm install Olama, and now I changed this code slightly. First of all I imported Olama library, and now inside our post request we used a wait Olama chat, where we are passing a model and messages, and inside content we are passing our prompt. Then after this we are responding with respond message content. Basically it is simply a wrapper which slightly simplifies working with a llama. So let's restart our server and look in Postman. Let's hit send again, and we're getting basically the same response, but just an object with field text and nothing else. Because here we rendered back response message content, and it normalized a response in a slightly different way. And the last thing that I want to show you in Olama is a model file. So basically in documentation on the left you can see model file reference and you can tune some stuff for your model. This is a model file from the official website, so you simply create in root file model file. Here we have from llama 3.2, so this is what model we are using. After this we are setting temperature, a parameter and here we are making a custom message. So with system we are writing that you are Mario from Super Mario Brothers and you are acting as an assistant. But just creating this file won't do anything, we need to create a new model. So let's jump inside console and write Olama, create Mario, and here Mario is just a name of the model that we want to create, minus f which is file, and we are providing here our model file that we just created. I'm hitting here enter, and as you can see it gathered model, and we see a success message. Now I can write here Olama list, and as you can see I have two models, first of all Llama 3.2 and then Mario latest which we just created. So let's try to use it now. It will be run Mario, and here we can send the message, let's just write hi how are you, and we're getting an answer from Mario, which is written in a similar tone. So model file allows you to configure how your model will work. And the last question here for sure is do we have something else, because Olama is great but maybe there are some alternatives, and they know of two other alternatives, but from all of them I like Olama the most, because it is the user friendly and easy to start. Another two candidates is LM Studio, it is great for mid-range hardware, and we also have local AI which can be used when you need more flexibility. So if you are serious about transforming yourself from middle developer to senior developer, check my bootcamp that is focused exactly on that, you can find the link to it in the description under the video.